Hi everyone, just a quick video on uh, fuel cutoff switches, uh, how they work and um, what's happening inside the switch itself and um, how to reset them. So what is a fuel cutoff switch? Well, in simple terms, in the event of an accident or if the car's in a rolling scenario, uh, it's designed to turn off the fuel pump. It's turned off to supply to break the circuit and turn off the supply to the fuel pump so it doesn't continue to run uh, in the event of an accident. So uh, where are they normally located? They're normally found inside the engine bay. Uh, down one of the chassis rails, down the side of the engine somewhere and they're normally, well they are always sat in a vertical position like that with the plug sat to the bottom. Uh, so what's happening inside, so we've got three got three uh, pins here and they are stamped as to what they are. The C for common which I've put on the board behind us as well, uh, NO for normally open and NC for normally closed and if you can see the light there there's three pins there, uh, one for each. So uh, in the normal driving conditions the button is pressed down and what is ha happening is we've got the normally closed scenario. So we've got power going around here through these contacts here and then onto this contact and round to common. So that is the normal running condition um, when the car's getting fuel to the fuel pump and, and uh, as I say, running normally. What happens in the event of an accident is that you can see there's a magnet sat at the bottom of a ball here. If I shake this, you can hear the ball inside moving on the magnet. The magnet uh, is only a certain amount of strength. The ball will leave the magnet during an accident. So a shaking scenario like that. And what it does is the ball has nowhere to go but to fly up and hit this contact here. What's actually, there's two plates there. And what they do is they push up and they sort of pivot and bend upwards. What that does is it pushes the button up and it also brings in uh, this section of wire here, which allows this normally open circuit to touch that contact and complete. So this circuit's broken, the fuel's cut off, and then the normally open section hits the contact, and now this is a complete circuit uh, to tell the ECU that the fuel pump's been turned off. Um, so obviously they're quite robust, these, they don't tend to fail, um, but obviously if the balls become uh, dislodged, that will cut off the fuel supply, and even the ball sitting back in the magnet doesn't uh, restart the fuel pump. So what you've got to do is push the button on top, and then it'll reset. We can prove what's happening here by just doing a simple continuity test. So I've got my multimeter and I've set it to the continuity set setting. So it's just going to send a little current through the circuit, uh, making sure it's complete. So at the moment, uh, the, the ball is now back in the magnet and I'll click it down. So it's as it would be under normal driving conditions. I'll put my crocodile clip for the, onto common. And because it's normal driving conditions, it should be running on the normally closed circuit. So there we go. So I'm getting a buzz to say that's running as normal or working as normal. If I shake it, that will break these two contacts, they'll push up. So now what I should find is that the uh, normally open circuit is now complete and the normally closed one is not. So now I'm going to the middle contact here. Hopefully you can see it in this power light in December. That one's now complete. If I go back to the normally closed, nothing. So that is open circuit now. So in that condition, the fuel pump would not be, uh, would not be working. Uh, when do these fail? Obviously, I've said during an accident, not fail, when do they go open circuit in an accident? But also it's worth checking them if you're not getting uh, any fuel supply after a car's been towed or jacked up or raised in some sort of way. I know there's some Hondas particularly. I'm aware of recently that um, at a certain angle, this will uh, move and it will cut off the fuel supply even though the car's not been in a crash. So that's how a fuel cutoff switch, inertia fuel cutoff switch works. Hope it makes sense and I'll see you on the next one.